Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic and loving all of the content coming your way. So finally, it's summer and listen when the sun comes out to play when i feel the heat on my skin it literally transformed me okay i love summertime and i wish that canada was summer all year round but unfortunately we have some hard winters so when summer is here i take full advantage of that and i know that so many of you guys that watch my channel have a lot of heat where you are so i'm going to talk about all of my summer essentials i actually um got inspired by charades video and I will link her page down below as well as her video she talks about some of her summer essentials and I thought I'd do the same for you guys I just feel like there are staple products that you absolutely need during the summertime to make your life a lot easier so we are gonna get into this we're gonna talk about sunscreen fragrances of course we're gonna talk about some skincare products that we absolutely need not really makeup because I'm gonna be honest during the summer I hardly wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis or even when I'm stepping out of the house because it is so hot I want to feel comfortable so I might do a nice kind of primer to illuminate the skin but when it comes to full glam honey <laughs> No, you will not see all of this every day when it is hot outside. I'm wearing my bare skin and some good shades and I'm good to go. So if you guys have some summer essentials that I need in my life, leave a comment down below, let me know. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Karina Waldron and I would absolutely love it if you subscribe. We do a lot of fashion, beauty and lifestyle content, especially fragrance. So comment down below, leave a mark and let's go into it. So I think I'm going to start off with sunscreen because that is so, so important. Now, let me be real here. You're supposed to wear sunscreen all year round. And I'm going to be honest. I was not a sunscreen girl. I didn't wear sunscreen for years and years and years. And it wasn't until a couple of maybe like a year or two back that I started wearing sunscreen. But honestly, not regularly as I should. I would skip days and all of that stuff. But the last three months, I've been wearing sunscreen every single day nonstop. And it started with me kind of um, testing out sunscreens for content. And I have seen such a huge difference in my skin. Like I kid you not, my skin just looks clear and bright. And a lot of the sunspots that I have are starting to fade away. So along with my skincare routine and using sunscreen, I am seeing the benefits. So I'm telling you right now, you definitely want to use sunscreen, especially if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation, a lot of sun, sun damage, get you sunscreen and I think it will work out for you. Just use it every single day, every single day. Even if you're not leaving the house, put on that sunscreen and I tr trust me, after like a month or two, you will start to see that your skin looks a little bit different. So these are some of my favorite sunscreens that I have been using. I do have some that are way more of a favorite than others. So let me start off with this one here. This is from Glow Recipe. It's their Watermelon Glow Sunscreen with Niacinamide. It's SPF 50. This is a physical and a chemical sunscreen. I love this stuff. Okay, what's my favorite thing about this particular sunscreen is that it leaves my skin super duper glowy. So if you're like me, you have dry skin or even normal skin and you love that dew on your skin, this is the one to get. It's super brightening, it's glowy, it's hydrating, very, very emollient and I think it just looks gorgeous. There isn't a white cast. As soon as I rub this in, that kind of bluish purpley tint starts to fade away and it looks completely translucent. I don't know how it would be on really deep skin tones. Um, so leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried it out and how it worked for you. But on my skin tone, you definitely won't have any white cast and no pilling. So I really love this one and it smells really good. It smells like watermelon. So love that. The other sunscreen that I like is from Biosins. This is their Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral SP F30. Now with this one, 
Mm, you really have to rub this in uh, and then it becomes completely translucent. I feel like I had to rub it on, uh, rub it in a little bit longer and less is more with this one. I tend not to use as much as like the glow recipe one because I will start to feel like I have a little bit of a cast, but it's not too much. Um, it's very light on the skin. It's not as emollient as the glow recipe. So for those of you who don't like too much of a dewy look, this would be a great option as it looks very natural on the skin and it just feels good. It's lightweight, so this is a great one and there is no scent to that at all. Now, the other one that I have is from the drugstore and I think it's beautiful. Instantly when I put it on, there is no white cast at all. Like I don't need to rub it, rub it in. It's like completely translucent. This is from Vici. It's the Capital Soleil SPF 60. Okay. This is a lot higher, honey. And I think it's just gorgeous. The way it goes on the skin, it's just so light and airy. It does give you a beautiful glow, but look at this. As soon as I rub it, there is no cast, no cast at all. And it has that stunning glow that I love. It feels very lightweight. It still feels very nourishing on the skin. So this is a beautiful option. If you don't wanna fuss over the whole like cast, white cast and all that stuff, also have this one from Aveeno. Now I opted to show you guys the stick formula. They do have the liquid formula, which is totally fine, but the stick formula is great for those of you who are on the go and like to reapply your SPF. Now there are spray ones. I personally have not tried them, so I don't know, but this one I have tried over and over and it works out great, especially if I'm out at the beach, going for a walk, eating on a patio, I can just pop this out of my bag, do a couple of swipes, rub it in and I'm good to go for the rest of the day. This is their sensitive skin one. It's SPF 50. It's a mineral sunscreen, sunscreen stick and it doesn't irritate the skin whatsoever. There is no white cast and it looks great. Very light, very, very light. You will not feel this on the skin at all. Again, they do have the liquid version that you can apply in the morning when you're stepping out of the house and then take this with you in your bag. Last but not least, I have this one from La Roche Pose. Hope I'm saying that right. Now the actual bottle is not in here because it's downstairs, but this is one that I really, really like. Another one that's very lightweight. There's no white cast. It gives a nice glow, but it's not heavy at all. It's their, what do you call this? It's in English right here. So the Tolerane Sensitive Cream. UV hydrating soothing cream SPF 30 so this one is a 30 but again it's a very similar to the Vici where you're not gonna get a white cast as soon as you apply it it becomes completely translucent very light super great this one is 60 so it's a lot more than SPF 30 so you got some drugstore options and also some higher end options so let's talk about fragrances but I'm gonna run through these really quickly because I already have two videos on must have hot, hot weather fragrances. If you haven't seen them yet, I will link them down below or up here on the screen. So check those out. But here I wanted to give you guys a little bit of everything. So like a floral, a citrus, a clean musky, a, um, what else do we have here? A very fruity scent. I wanted to give you guys a nice creamy kind of beachy scent. So let's start with the fruity scent. And this is Parfums de Marley Maliora. I don't talk about her that often, and I honestly haven't worn her a ton, but she is a very beautiful, fruity scent that is perfect for the summer. Quick chat about this bottle, it is gorgeous. I mean, the fact that you can see the juice in there, the white tassel, it just all looks so luxurious and beautiful, and Parfum de Marley, definitely gives you that luxury, okay? This is a beautiful fruity scent. Like I said, it's very refreshing, very light. Mmm, it's so pretty. Very feminine, very well put together. There's character in this fragrance, even though it is a fresh fruity scent, there's some kind of substance in there and it develops a little bit. It's not completely, completely linear. 
Oh yeah, it is gorgeous. For all of my fruity lovers, this is a beautiful option. It's super bright and mood uplifting. So I definitely am gonna wear her a lot more during this summer. Next is for those of you who like a beachy scent, very creamy, very coconutty. And this is Alien Goddess from Mugler. It was a, I believe it was a, 2021 or 2019 release. And the face of this fragrance is of course Willow Smith. And I think she did a gorgeous job. Like the ads on this fragrance are stunning. The way that she looks in her outfit, perfection. This is very beachy, very creamy, very coconutty. It is beautiful. It's kind of like a scent that's really addictive. Mmm, I get that coconutty vibe right away in the scent, right away. I don't get a ton of the DNA of the original Alien, to be honest. To me, this is a standalone fragrance when I compare the two, but it's very addictive, it's very creamy, very luscious, without it being heavy. And then we have a nice, bright, kind of citrusy floral, Valentino Donna Born in Roma, Yellow Dreams. Mm. This is to me the best Donna Born in Roma. Out of all of them, this is the one to get. It is so elegant, so refined, it's sophisticated. It's a scent that you can wear day or night. It has a beautiful citrusy tone in the opening while still getting the florals gorgeous okay this is stunning it's a modern yet so many different age groups can pull this one off it's not too feminine so not sweet at all it's actually really kind of borderline unisex with still with it still being quite feminine does that make sense i hope it does and i just i love this one every time i wear it i get compliments this is definitely Oh, it definitely stands out. It's, it's stunning. Honestly, one of my favorite discoveries for sure this year is this fragrance. So don't sleep on her at all. Next, we have a soapy clean scent. Literally, Prada La Femme. This is one of my favorite Prada fragrances. It's one of my favorite soapy clean scents. It's still creamy. It has the ylang ylang in there and it's just quite sophisticated. I mean, you really don't have to think about this one when you wear it. It just smells really good, really put together. This to me is a daytime wear. It is a neutral clothes kind of wear. You dress very casual, chic, and it just vibes. Now, for those of you who love a true fresh floral, I'm gonna recommend this one over here, which is from Chanel. It's Chance Au Tendre. Hopefully I'm not butchering it. And this is exactly it. It's a fresh, bright, rosy kind of like scent. Very elegant, slightly mature, but still being quite modern. It's not vintage. When I say mature, I don't mean it smells old at all. It smells just a little bit more grown, okay? Just a little bit more grown, but still very bright and airy, beautiful. Love, love this one for an everyday wear for sure. Not super long lasting, but that's okay. We can work with it. And then I'm gonna give you these two over here, which is your musky clean scent. I'm giving you guys two options because of the price point. And I I do find that this ebony woods from Zara in collaboration with Joe Malone, it smells very similar to a lot of the Byredo uh, fragrances. If I was to put Mojave Ghost and Baldafric together, I would kind of get something like this. So this is a really great option, but Mojave Ghost is your clean musky scent. Very fresh, it's a little bit spicy also but super clean, super elegant, clean laundry kind of smelling thing. You know, it smells like a good fabric softener. Does that make sense? That's what this smells like. So those are my option for fragrances. Check out the other two videos that I did for summer fragrances because I have way more options there. And let's head into some body care products. So when it comes to the summertime, you really want to smooth out the skin because we're going to be showing a lot of arms, a lot of legs, maybe a lot of back, and you want something to exfoliate the skin. And I love a good body scrub. One of my favorite ones is from Way. This is their scalp and body scrub. This will have your body luscious and soft as soon as you get out of the shower. What I love about this one, it's like, it's almost like they mixed an oil with the scrub together. So when you're scrubbing it on your skin, you will actually feel how moisturizing and hydrating it is. Love, love, 
love this so much and a little of this goes a long way. I don't find it to be too harsh because as the water runs, it will start to kind of like that granuly, is that even a word? Oh my God. The texture that you get from it will start to smoothen out as the water runs down your skin. Love, love this product a lot. Um, the other scrub that I really like and recently started using is from Biosense. This is actually a newer product to them. It is the Squalene and Enzyme Sugar Body Scrub. It exfoliates your skin so, so well. The texture of this is a little bit more fine than the Way one. The Way is a little bit thicker. So if you like something a little bit more fine, this is the way to go. But both of them do an incredible job. And for body wash, honestly, you can use anything. You can go to the drugstore and get Dove. They create some gorgeous body wash. Old Lay create some gorgeous body wash. I'm just going to quickly mention this one from Way. It's their body cleanser. Do you need it? Mm, not necessarily, but if you want to splurge a little bit, I would recommend this one. It smells great, it feels great on the skin, and it goes really well with the scrub. So just throwing that out there. Now let's talk about post shower. What are you gonna put the, on your skin? A moisturizer. I love to mix an oil with a body cream because it will feel so luscious, like your skin will be glistening, it will be supple, it will be hydrated, and all of the above. And if we're showing skin, honey, we want it to look good. So my favorite oil is from Osea. Osea. <laughs> this is mm, my second bottle, okay? I did do a collab with them and then I ended up getting a second bottle. This feels so luxurious on the skin, but when you pair it up with a moisturizer, wow, my skin just feels incredible and looks really gorgeous because you have that glow to your skin. So I like to mix this with the Osea um, body butter. It's a very thick body butter that you can use on its own, but together it will give you the ultimate nourishment and the look of your skin, you will look like a little goddess, like you just got out of a beach. It's beautiful. And then I also mix it with my Summer Friday um, Summer Skin Nourishing Body Lotion. Honestly, get yourself the oil and mix it with any moisturizer that you use. Trust me, you will see a difference. Your skin just feels so supple, especially after you exfoliated it and you then apply this with a moisturizer and uh, a lotion. Honey, honey, trust me, your man will want to touch the skin all day long, okay? And then we are going to quickly touch up on body SPFs. It's really important to apply it, especially if you feel like you have hyperpigmentation on your body. A lot of the times our elbows can get dark, our knees can get dark, and so this is a great way to start to take care of of those areas using an SPF really makes a difference. So this is a really great option. I mean, there are a ton of body SPFs that you can find at the drugstore or even higher end ones. Just get you one that is great, that doesn't leave a white cast all over your body and it blends well with everything else, so get that. So since it's summertime, we're gonna have our feet out, okay, especially the back of our feet. It has to be on point, honey. I'm just telling you right now, you don't wanna go out with crusty, dusty, foot okay so i have this over here this is a scrubber what do you call this i forget what you call this but it's to really clean the back of your foot the side of your foot and have it nice and soft and supple and when you get out of the shower you apply the oil with the body butter on those feet and honey your feet will be ready for summertime and slippers and all of that good stuff. Put your toenails with some color, you know, maybe a bright color or just a soft white and you are good to go. You don't necessarily need to go get a pedicure every single week. I mean, some of us are on a budget. Just get you one of these. Every time you're in the shower, give it a good scrub, apply some um, body wash or even the body scrub and then give it a good scrub while it's really soaked and wet. Apply your oil and your body butter. Your feet will love you. Even better, if you go to bed, after you take a shower and you scrub it out, apply a generous amount of the body butter with the oil and put on socks. When you wake up, your skin on your feet 
will love you. Just a little tip from someone who went to esthetician school. <laughs> Another product that I want to mention for those of you girlies who are looking to lighten up certain areas of your body, say your, you know, your knees, your elbows, or even your underarm, the bikini area, try this over here. This is from The Ordinary. It's their glycolic acid 7% toning solution. I have been using this under my arms and bikini area and it works like a charm. You have to use it consistently to start to see the change, okay? So don't think that after a week you're gonna see like bright underarms. You gotta use it for like a month or so and then you're gonna start to see the change. So I use this every single day for a month and now I use it like every other day and it works really well. If you don't like deodorant, you could always use this because when I was using it, I would go to the gym and honey, there was no smell at all at all you just gotta use it every day so this is a really great way to lighten up those um, areas that are, have a lot of hyperpigmentation I know people that use this on their face also with hyperpigmentation but I've been just using it on my body and it works really really well so lips I think this should be all year round but especially for the summertime we're not wearing a ton of makeup we want our skin and our lips to look luscious and fresh lip balms you have to okay you have to all year round but during the summer, absolutely. And I have some options for you guys. We have affordable and we have a little bit higher end. The um, Laneige lip masks are incredible. Okay, you can pop these on your lips before you go to bed, leave them on, and your lips will be luscious and supple. But I wear them during the day also because I find them so, so hydrating. Love, love these. They have so many different like scents and taste to select from. These are just two that I had right beside me. The other one that I have is from Birds. Bees. Burt's Bees is known for all of their lip care products. They have so many different formulas to select from. You can just get the regular schmegular one and it will do the trick to have your lips looking nice and luscious. And then this one is from Glow Recipe. It's their Lip Pop. Um, I think that's what it's called. And this one looks and feels so good. It has a bit of a pink tint to it, which I really, really like, especially if I'm not wearing any makeup. It just looks really nice on the lips and it smells incredible. And then the last one is a bougie one, okay? For all of you girls like me that likes to, you know, splurge a little bit more from time to time, you like to treat yourself with a luxurious product. This is Clau du Pau. I'm, I'm probably butchering the name. This is a very high end um, name brand. You can get it at, I believe at Saks Fifth Avenue. And this is a lip balm that I recently tried and oh my God, I am obsessed with it. Literally obsessed with it. I forget the name of it and it's so tiny. I can't even read. I will link it down below for you guys. But this is like a pinky lip balm. Mine's a little bit dirty because I mixed it with my lipstick and it just feels so luscious on the lips. It has almost like like a tint to it when you apply it it kind of like brightens up your lips and it just looks so good like there's something about it that's not just like your ordinary lip balm it brightens up the lips so well and just makes everything look super luscious and healthy as for skincare I'm just gonna quickly mention a few favorites I think it's so important to keep your skin core skincare on point make it a routine honey if you want flawless skin if you're looking to tackle certain things say texture, acne, um, dryness, or even oiliness, your skincare really has to be on point. Now you don't have to go for all of the high-end skincare. You can definitely find products at the drugstore that will work for you. These are just the products that I use, but I think they look so good on the skin and they make my skin look nice and hydrated, plump, and all of the stuff that I love, especially when I'm not wearing makeup. I want to feel confident with my skin. So I've been loving this glow recipe niacinamide dew drop <sighs> my skin looks so dewy when I wear this so so dewy that I don't necessarily need to apply a moisturizer if I don't have to it does the job it's so good I know it looks very gimmicky sometimes with the packaging but honestly the formula is perfect I love this one um, the other product that I'm loving is from Tula it is their brightening treatment drops triple vitamin C serum and I have 
I, like I feel like my skin is starting to look a lot more brighter after using this. I use this every day for a couple of weeks and I definitely started to see results. Mine's pretty much done. I'm going to have to get another backup of this. And now Tula is available in Canada before you couldn't get it. So grab it while you can. They have it at Sephora and they have it on their website that they ship to Canada too. So love this one. If you're trying to get a brighter complexion, another Tula product that I love is their filter primer, blurring and moisturizing primer. This is so good on no makeup days. Like it just evens out the skin tone in a weird way where when you apply this primer, it gives you a glow, like a very sun-kissed glow. So this looks completely white. And then when you start to blend it, you can visibly see that there is like this tint to it. So it kind of like helps even out the skin tone. It gives a really gorgeous kind of bronzed look to my skin and it just looks so good. I went on a weekend getaway with the hubby and this is all I wore on my skin, no makeup at all. And it just looked so beautiful in pictures and in person. So really, really enjoyed this one a lot. And this is Osea's um, Overnight Serum, which I talked about on my channel. If you have issues with texture, honey, and you want that baby soft skin, try this out. Honestly, it works every single time. I use this once a week. I'll apply it all over the skin, go to bed, wash it off, and my skin is super duper soft. Like, love this. It's like a facial in a bottle. So guys, those are all of my products. Let's talk about fashion real quick, like super quick. I think for summertime, you absolutely need, absolutely need a pair of denim shorts. And I will kind of like model it for you guys. Hopefully I can just squeeze in a little clip right here. A pair of good fitting denim shorts. I don't like my shorts to be too, too short. I like them to be at a good length. Um, I wear them with sneakers, with, you know, sandals. You can wear it with a soft heel, dress it up, dress it down, a bodysuit an open up button shirt. There's so many different ways to wear a nice pair of denim shorts. I got a few from The Gap and they fit so nicely. The fabric and the quality is amazing. So don't sleep on The Gap. Another item that I think you absolutely need for the summertime is a pair of, um, what do you call these? linen pants okay linen pants are the thing right now and i love me a good breezy fresh light pair of linen pants that i can wear any time of the day i can dress i can dress it up dress it down you can get it in black you can get it in white you can get it in whatever color you want but just get yourself some linen pants because there's so many different outfits that you can pull off with these you could just wear it with a t-shirt like a basic white t-shirt tucked in you can wear it with a button-up shirt completely open you can wear it with a bodysuit a top so i really really like linen pants because not only are they comfortable they look really stylish and very well put together so um, I will try and model a few that I love um, so you guys can get the gist of what I'm talking about and last but not least a button-up shirt right now baby blue I think it's so in and it looks pretty on so many different skin tones um, H&M is definitely the place to go when it comes to button-up shirts Zara too but H&M is a little bit more affordable and the quality is really amazing they're uh, oversized shirts are definitely oversized. So don't go up a size at all. You don't need to. They are definitely oversized. And I just think a shirt like this, you can make so many different outfits. It looks really elegant, very well put together. And it's so easy to just get dressed. Last but not least, it's summertime. The sun is out. Of course, you're going to need some sunglasses, honey. These are one of my favorite pairs right now. I will show you guys three different pairs that I absolutely love. These are from Amazon and they look so gorgeous. It's a dupe for a Chloe. And then I have another one that's a dupe for a Prada. And we have one from Desi Perkins. Her brand is called Desi and her sunglasses. They're a little bit more pricey, but the quality is amazing. These are my favorite one on red so so pretty so guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today i will link everything down below please let me know what are your summer essentials you absolutely need for the summertime comment down below and i hope you enjoyed it it's like a little bit different huge thank you to sheree for inspiring me on this video and i will see you all in the next one ciao